Welcome back to Adelante Chicago. He got real close to becoming Chicago's mayor. Jesus Chuy Garcia got the nation to pay attention to that race. How it shook out is having an impact on the upcoming presidential election. He sat down with us to talk about why presidential candidates should target the Latino vote. I don't think you'd even be talking about illegal immigration if it weren't for, for me. For comprehensive immigration. One guy absolutely denigrating. It's the comments that have put immigration and the Latino vote on the list of issues for a string of presidential candidates. We're growing. The vote is growing. The community is certainly growing. And no one knows that better than this man, Dr. Juan Andrade, who leads the U.S. Hispanic Leadership Institute. He's watched the surge in the Latino voting bloc and expects as many as 10 million Latinos will cast a vote in the 2016 presidential election. He's partly basing that off what he saw in Chicago this year. I love you too. <laughs> For the first time, a Latino in Chicago had a clear shot at becoming mayor. The entire country was watching as Jesus Chuy Garcia battled it out. I will carry your voices, your concerns into the office of the mayor's office. With Mayor Rahm Emanuel. I sensed in people a desire to move the city in a different direction. Six months after the historic runoff election, the Cook County Commissioner sat down with us one-on-one -on -one to look back at the mark that election left behind and the role of Latinos as a new president is handpicked. The Latino community has the potential to play a critical role in this election. <laughs> right now, Garcia is helping generate enthusiasm. He'll be at the Democratic National Convention and is championing an urban agenda while also watching how the Latino vote evolves nationwide. I predict that candidates will begin to tone down their rhetoric and to become a lot more realistic and to offer better policy proposals that are more inclusive of people who live in this country. You're seeing uh, more Latinos uh, run at the state level, statewide races in California. We have seen governors elected in New Mexico and in Florida. Uh, you're going to continue to see more of that. Garcia got quite a bit of experience with a big election and remembers some of the toughest parts. Being depicted in a negative way as someone, for example, that doesn't have the uh, sophistication to manage the city's finances, someone who didn't have a financial plan to move the city forward. Now, looking back, he says he is okay with how things shook out. I feel really good. I feel quite vindicated. The list is very long of policy issues where we were spot on. But there's also another question that he's not quite willing to answer, finding a way to get around it. Would he run for mayor of Chicago again? It's been a fantastic journey. Uh, my first 50 years in Chicago. So is that a yes you would run again or you would <laughs> consider it or is that a no? Well, uh, it's too soon to say, uh, you know, four years is a long time. Uh, people have urged me to not write it off. And so far, he hasn't. Enjoy. Everything hey, good? Yeah. All right, guys, take care. With eyes still on, on him as an indicator of the role you. Latinos are you. playing God in politics. You. We stirred something up in a very different way, and I hope that this will pay off for Chicago in, in the future. And just this week, Garcia played a key role in the Latino Policy Forum event, which focused on the importance of the Latino vote. Garcia and Cristobal Alex, who heads the Latino Victory Project in D.C., sat down with me to have a panel discussion on how presidential candidates can target that Latino vote. The breakfast panel was attended by about 300 civic and political leaders, both men agreeing that more Latino leaders are actually needed in political positions, more women actually, if we want to see change when it comes to some of the most important issues like immigration. They said candidates are beginning to realize that. And in fact, a candidate has to win a big portion of la the Latino vote to guarantee a win. The latest research by Latino Decisions shows that no presidential candidate can win without 45 percent of the Latino vote. Um, the demographics are such, and the community has grown, that it used to be 40, and it's now 45 percent. It really is a unique opportunity for us to build Latino political power, but more importantly, to get the country on the right course. Um, we're on a precipice. 2016 is a pivotal year. It's a seminal election, and there's a real choice to be made. And I'm confident that the country uh, wants to look toward the future and not the past. 
Uh, the Latino Policy Forum is the only organization, Chicago organization, I should say, that facilitates the involvement of Latinos at all levels of public decision making.